Hello everyone, this is Leo from TPSC and today we'll be taking a look at a brand new product called Impedio Security. This is another one of those unique tools which specifically protects you against ransomware. And I've noticed a few interesting features. So first of all, it creates backups for you and you can even protect your backups which is a very important feature these days. Now under ransomware protection, it has some interesting settings, so you can set up file traps. Now how I suspect this works is that all these files are available in different locations and they have all these weird names, so one of them is going to be triggered when a ransomware is going to try to infect your system. And once that happens, the ransomware is going to be detected, although I don't know how effective it's going to be, and once ransomware authors are going to figure out these things, they'll probably learn to avoid these. But but as you can see, these are probably random and you can generate new ones. So that's very ingenious. We also have a setting called protected volumes where you can create a volume which will be protected and I believe the data within it won't be modified by any program. So we can create a new volume right now and we can mount it. As you can see, it is the drive letter A now. So if we check in File Explorer, Drive Volume A. This is a brand new volume where you can put your protected data. And I believe ransomware won't be able to delete it. Under performance, we have exception filtering mode so that it does not interfere with trusted software. You can set it up yourself. They also have things like password protection and obviously an update check. So this program seems to be very early in development. It is officially released at mpdo-security.com and you can check it out. They do have their pricing listed there. But I'm interested to see how it functions as it is set up by default. So I'm gonna give it my usual ransomware test, kind of similar to how we tested Intercept X by Sophos. So we have some pictures and some documents and we're gonna see if the software is able to protect these things from ransomware. So let's go grab some. Under selected ransomware, I have some of the samples I used for the intercept X test, and I've grabbed a few new zero day samples as well. So these samples should be less than maybe 24 to 48 hours old. Let's try these out and see what happens. First one is a fake bank statement thing. Does seem to have executed. Our documents seem to have disappeared, although our pictures are still there. Huh. So it did create a new folder and encrypt our documents, so that's not very good. And now the ransom message has popped up. Let's see if our pictures are still intact or if they're encrypted. No, it seems the pictures folder was protected, so that's kind of odd. Maybe it does not protect your documents folder by default, which it definitely should, because this is where a lot of important data is going to be there for a regular user. I'm pretty sure um, anything put under the protected volume would be protected. But then again, that's an additional step, and uh, a lot of users may not take that. So now we have some weird horror background on the desktop. So I'm just gonna reset the system back to the previous snapshot, and we'll continue with the next sample. All right, I got everything back, but let's take a new snapshot right now just to ensure that our protected volume and everything else is also ready to go next time this happens. Okay, now I'm going to copy and paste my documents in the protected folder so that when we execute the next sample, we can see if that has any effect. Of course, I forgot to mention that it does back up your data. So if you've done that and the backup is protected, you can still restore it. So it's not as bad as I might have made it sound last time the file executed, because it's difficult to keep in mind how this product works. It's not exactly a direct ransomware prevention utility, but it gives you a lot of tools and services, which makes sure that you're ready if you ever get attacked. So now let's try out the second new zero day ransomware. This is a fake doc file. Let's see what it does. Our documents are still intact. So are our pictures. 
Okay, so it seems this ransomware actually fell for the file traps and was detected. So now we can heal our computer. And I believe that's the end of that. But for some reason, the previous ransomware was actually able to not set off the trap. So it never was detected until it had encrypted our stuff. And since I'm pretty sure someone from the development team of this product is going to be looking at this video, you might want to figure out why that happened with the first sample. Now let's move on to some more seasoned players. We have Adam Locker, Cerber, Goldeneye, Jigsaw, Mole, Petia, Shade, Fur Locker, and of course WannaCry. So let's see how it responds to each of these threats. These are of course blocked by AVs at this point quite easily. However, I don't think this program has a signature component, so it's all the same. Hmm. This one seems to have been picked up. And the computer has been healed. Let's see if our files are still intact. Oops, not really. Seems a lot of these are infected. And if we try to execute it, it's now going to execute another instance of the ransomware. And the same for our documents, so you would have to restore from the backups. Okay, now let's execute Cerber. This threat is pretty dangerous. If you're not well prepared for it, it seems it's having trouble executing with this. But we are soon about to be signed out. Let's see if it's able to stop that. Our documents seem to be intact so far. So are our pictures, but maybe server's going to restart the system and that's going to render the protection useless. Let's see if that happens. Yep. Now all we can do is hope that the developers of Impedio Security took this into account. And that our files will still be there. Ah, uh, this is a restart loop. Very annoying. Finally, we're in. And... Hmm. I don't see the protected volume yet. Our pictures are still intact. So are our documents. I don't know what happened to Impedio Security. Ah, there it is. Seems to be all right, and seems to have detected the ransomware. But it seems our documents are now infected or encrypted, so to speak. Our pictures remain intact. What's up with the protected volume? Seems it's not mounted. Let's try mounting it again. See if our documents are still over there. Okay, so the program is really struggling at this point, and this test isn't going as smoothly as I anticipated. So you know what? We're going to skip all these ransomware samples. We're going to directly jump to Petya next and see how that reacts to it, because uh, Petya does completely destroy the MBR, and I'm not sure if this program can prevent that. So once we've figured out if our protected volume is still safe, and it is, which is good. We are going to move on to Petya next. But before that, let's just try the backups one more time and see if that works. So this is the most recent backup. And let's just try recovering a particular file. This is an encrypted file, so let's see if we can revert. But it says reverting file failed. Hmm. Let's try another one. Reverting file failed. Let's try recovering from the directory. Recovering directory succeeded, but does that do anything? No. Our files are still encrypted over here, so eh, I'm kind of unsure as to how this program is functioning and whether or not it's working correctly seems quite unpolished internally at this point. I mean, the UI and all is fine, but it doesn't seem to be very convincing when it comes to the back end. 
So now let's go ahead and execute this and see what happens. I believe this should be interesting. Weirdly, nothing seems to have happened, so maybe we'll try Goldeneye. Not sure what went wrong there. Maybe the CNC server is down. Could just be that. Goldeneye also works in a very similar way, destroying your MBR. Hmm. We immediately have this text file on the desktop, but I don't see any other changes. Ooh, shit. Our pictures are encrypted. And so are our documents. The protected volume is also encrypted. Yeah, this is a disaster. This shouldn't have happened. So yeah, needless to say, Impedio Security still has a lot of work to do. It seems it's not really able to protect you against sophisticated ransomware. Maybe it's going to work for that .NET crap that those 15-year-olds build for entertainment, but for real serious ransomware, it's not doing so well. And you have to keep in mind that you're probably better off buying a decent AV solution to deal with things like this, because guess what? Signatures still work. But there's no point having a fancy zero-day product if it's not going to be effective. At this point, I doubt if this product can add any significant protection to what you'd get by using a decent AV. So um, I don't really feel like recommending it. It seems kind of unpolished. But at the same time, it does show some promise. I like the ideas implemented here, and I think it's quite innovative in the way it tries to detect ransomware, give you backup management, and I feel that there is a market for these kind of products. So I just think this product needs a bit more maturity, sort out some internal issues, make sure it protects against all sorts of ransomware, especially things like Petya, Goldeneye, Satana. I will be sharing the samples with the developers to help them out. And hopefully we'll see a new and improved version of this product in the future, which will perform much better. But until then, those are my final thoughts for Impedio Security. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you did. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.